Johnny Test is a guilty pleasure show for me, and I was one of the weird people who actually liked watching the show. Now, after watching the Netflix reboot, or would you call it a continuation, the show feels like it came straight out of 2005, and that's a good thing. Let's just go the other way, dog! To the no one is allowed in my warehouse! I mean, the quick zany action mixed in with the over-the-top reaction and impulsive Johnny just really sticks with me. I mean, there was always action on the screen. And sure, some of the episodes felt cringy or outdated. The best for last. Doggymon, Toxic Tales, go! But I feel the jokes really captured who Johnny is. Don't worry, Johnny, I'll save you! Toast downstairs! Bye! And you can even see that in his character design. I mean, look at the dude. He's edgy, he has tons of points, and a subtle, innocent, yet menacing look that makes you think, I don't want to be around this kid. Even when the animation went to Flash, the jerky, unsettling nature made the show that much more better, at least to me as a kid. Then since it's not a weapon, Johnny Test won't use a weapon against you. It's not in his nature. I don't have time to review the whole show or make any sort of deep iceberg dive that other channels would do, but I just wanted to show my appreciation for how this quirky little show has inspired me to make my own zany off-the-wall videos, even if they don't make that much sense. Also, looking at the reviews, it's just funny seeing how people just crashed on this show so early on. That was totally not cool. A lot of original reviews back from 2006 even compare it to Dexter's Laboratory. And while that is true because both the shows were running around the same time, it is kind of funny seeing how, well, which show obviously survived today and which one hasn't, but at the same time looking at how there's been a resurgence of people suddenly really loving this show. For the office to show them how jobs work. <laughs> Isn't that right, sweetie? Show them your real hair, daddy. <laughs> Recent reviews, people are giving this show and the newer episodes 7 and 8 out of 10, which is really good compared to what they used to be giving this show. But it is true, there's nothing extremely standoffish about this show that'll make it stand out, but at the same time there's nothing something so horrible that'll make people say it shouldn't exist. It's more of a guilty pleasure show, and I think a lot of people can agree with me on that. You know, Johnny Test is like the TV show equivalent of Bubsy. Nobody particularly liked them, and yet they still got reboots and revivals before other, and let's be honest, better shows or games got revived. So my point, if you have Netflix, go watch the new Johnny Test show. It's funny, it's cheesy, and it brings me back to simpler times when cartoons made an effort to entertain, even if the budget tanked. I am a registered sex offender. I stuck my dick into a blender. Your mom is a transgender. I am a professional nude sender. 